we can move around speed signs. Yeah, I mean, I think we're we're good on levels. So yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, a little bit of post editing you'll have to do. That's all right. Yeah, that'd be all right. Just a little bit of a gate and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just a party guy. <laughs> you just start going off on it. Sucking just <laughs> just breathing, breathing, breathing into it. <laughs> there, if you got the stubble, you can. Yeah. <laughs> just do the beer. Right in there. Yeah. Hit the ribbon. All right. Well, I'm recording, so I got all that. So sweet. <laughs> it's the flipping whirly jerks. This is there. A, you go. Yeah. I'm pre show. The flipping whirly jerks. Crossover, crossovers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, I mean, it just got serious. You guys are standing up. This is the you championship mine, of podcasting. Yeah, God. You guys mind if I take my pants off? Do we have a choice? There's you always a choice. Your... There's always a choice to not choose. <laughs> if you choose not to decide, that is still a choice. Yeah, see, I already got one before we recorded. <laughs> you can put the mic in there. So, the microphone looks a little thirsty. I'll go officially on the record and say thank you guys. Yeah, see that? There you go. It's recorded. Thank you guys for your help. We yeah, turn it off. <laughs> Screw all of you. It's done. <laughs> turn it off. All right. I, I've I lost my voice before we even set up. Yeah. So, because I had to yell at you guys so much. Oh, I thought you were yelling at your brother the whole way. <laughs> so, what was uh, what was your uh, your take on the one day? What would you take on the actually the whole guitar exhibit? The exhibit was rad. Um, it's crazy to think that Doug's Super Chief, which is 5400 right, in the art exhibit, was the cheapest guitar, like lowest price guitar in that art exhibit. What? Yeah. Yeah, there were... Um, There's some crazy awesome builds in there. That guy, the MAP, he had like two guitars there too? Yep. On display. Oh, right? yeah. Those are those are the same price as Doug's. Dang. I think I did not far that was my shoe. <laughs> so what were the prices like up in the tens? Yeah, tens and twenties. Oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. And these are like most of those are acoustics, right? Yeah, most of them acoustics. Uh, some arch tops. A lot of classical Crazy. style guitars. Yeah, maybe not I'm just thing. Yeah, maybe I'm just like super. Uh, I just don't get. It. I'm like, what, why? Why would those be so much? <laughs> well, okay. So you guys should. If you think of it or want to go back tomorrow, mm-hmm. is like some of the the rosettes on those acoustics. So like the part yeah. around the sound hole, like if you look at it, it looks like pixelated stuff. Like mm-hmm. it just looks like wood that's pixelated, but it's really they're like toothpick style. They're like the yeah, toothpick size pieces of wood inlaid in there. What? And yeah. They sand down. They cut it down. <laughs> yeah. It's, there's some crazy fine detail on some of those guitars. Yeah, a lot of those. Guys look like they're in their like sixties and seventies. Mm-hmm. They've been doing it for a long time. Yeah, longer than we've been alive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I felt. What else was there? Was also the School of Rock that was there. Were they performing, or was it like? I don't think they were performing. I think that they just had like a, an, a silent auction. Okay, got it. The movie money. is that what you're talking about? The no School yeah. Rock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jack Black yep. was there. I missed them totally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bad yeah. joke. So, yeah, and then there was a little area where some local businesses were set up. The guys that have the folding guitar. And then a music store. Yeah. Was set up. Main Street. Yep, Main Street. Good music? Main Street Music? Main Street Music. I'm trying to remember what the... Voyager? Yes. With air spelled out. Voy- Voyage Air. Voyage Air. Gotcha. Those and then D Gatewood guitars. Yeah, those are cool. I didn't get to pick one up. No, they they had like a real. He had like a hollow body bass. Mm-hmm. It was so heavy. Was it? For, so it looks super light. It felt like two stingrays together, <laughs> like duct tape. Maybe three stingrays duct taped together. How the? Yeah. Jeez. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> they with a lot of duct tape. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. No, it was it was cool. I mean. A lot of traffic. I think there was just a lot of people like you know, it came in bursts, like just like yeah. spurts of just people coming in and like, Yeah, it's it's kinda of crazy how there'll be everybody comes at once and then all of a sudden everybody's gone. Yeah. They must sense like, oh, like a herd of people yep. they run away. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean 
What was some of your favorites? I, I got just stuck with the one day, but like there was new stuff that I saw that I haven't I haven't seen before. Mm-hmm. Um, but like Clifton, was there something that you haven't actually got to try? Outside that you, of the one day exhibit, yeah. The, uh, I, there was okay. Um, Jonathan Fellows was showing me. He walked me through, and uh, of course I didn't get to touch it or whatever. There was this guitar that had like this hardware on it that was like aged. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was telling me like the bridges and stuff are like three hundred dollars. Wow. And like he'll the guy like he's actually got a pretty good business where he like just sells the hardware to other other people. Okay. And um I thought that was kinda cool. And he was like, you know, that might be like a five thousand guitar where he makes like six hundred dollars on it, but he can turn around and do a three hundred dollar bridge. Yeah. And yeah, doesn't have that huge investment. So I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was Is he making those parts for um, he is designing them and then having okay. them like uh, CNC'd, machined, okay, uh, by other people, like shopping it out basically. Okay. So he's just uh, designing it and having it made and then making the profit off of it. Dang. Yeah, I was just kind of like poking around at the different guitars and uh-huh. I was like, I don't know what that is. And I'm like looking, I'm like, oh, I cower, I've heard of that before. <laughs> but it was like looking at the acoustics. I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't know what I'm looking at here. I really <laughs> like that the teal, yeah. the teal. Uh, is that a Super Chief you had up there? Yeah. That was cool. That was really cool. It was a lot like when you go to Naom. And yeah. And they have like the boutique guitar builders. Exhibits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, especially like some of the acoustics. Like there was some really unconventional things. Yeah. Like going on with like. Like, like the tuning pegs. Yeah. It was like almost like a violin. Mm-hmm. Very Japanese um, inspired. There was yeah. some multi-scale acoustics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There was a multi-scale arch top acoustic electric. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what other things can we add on to this? Yeah. There was the one that was a playable guitar, but looked like an art piece. Did you guys see that one? It looked kind of like a neck coming off the side of like a two by four or like a plank and like had stuff coming across it this way I mean, and this is real good podcasting yeah i know i'm like i'm like <laughs> i'm like looking at you while you're doing it like don't understand yeah oh, that's great oh i'm like i get it i'll take a picture tomorrow <laughs> just do a video and attach it to the <laughs> yeah <laughs> nah what, what about, i thought was interesting was like all the scrap pieces all the tools they used to mm-hmm. make there's just like a that was a exhibit that was just thrown in the middle and it was yeah cool and um, one of the guys I was talking to, Kevin Hill, he, mm-hmm. he was a he made one of the acoustics there as a classic, classical nylon guitar. Um, he said last time they did something like that, they had like a hands-on kind of exhibit where they had people add things to a guitar or like you know nice. burn a spot or draw something or glue something somewhere, and then they turned it into something. That's After cool. Which is kind of cool. So I'm like, gets people learning about. Mm. how to glue things yeah things how to put glitter on a guitar (laughs) yeah i mean i thought this one day that you had you really ramped it up with like the like vendor or like the brands that you had like a lot more variety and a lot more guitars a lot more pedals and stuff like that Mm -hmm. so uh what were some of your guys's favorite things that co had at the one day well i had a lot of fun uh finally getting to play the pelotar i know that sounds ridiculous (laughs) ridiculous <laughs> that, like that was my first chance after really? following yeah i th- i think um i've played the one like kevin's guitar with that like half horse circuit in it mm-hmm. but like i don't i don't know that i ever had the chance and then like uh i knew that it had like the dual fuzz in it but i didn't know how that worked yeah, and yeah. so like to have you like walk me through that and then um and then i got to play with it later i was like that's that's cool yeah so I was impressed with that. Um, the spruce board that I picked up yeah. from Brian Bicknell, that was fun to go through. Yeah, and, it's um, uh, the prototype that he had was actually pretty sick. <laughs> Just yeah, clicking I didn't that get all the to play with that at all. Well, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But no, that was fun. It's like you rocking the Jennings a lot. You're just killing yeah, it on that. I think I have a like a new one that I have my eye on now, <laughs> yeah, which is terrible really because there's like three or four brands. That, yeah, right. Yeah. Um, they and, felt really good too, and they weren't like super heavy. It's like they were. Yeah, I think yeah, with the Bigsby too. It's I like told Co, and I, th- I think he kind of made fun of me. I said, 
this is like the closest thing to a telly for me. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> no, 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 like no. a jazz master. You, you started off by saying, or I said, uh, you seem to like this. And you're like, well, yeah, I like it. You know, seeing as how I'm a, a telly guy. And I'm like, and it's obviously based on a jazz master. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. See, you're, you're warming up to the, the kind of offset thing. Like, well, <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I'm fixing to get the arc tourists. Yeah. So, I mean, I've been wanting to go down that path for a while and just never have had like an offset. So I think that's kind of like where my heart is right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I think I still want like a good Les Paul style. Like it doesn't have to be like shaped like a Les Paul, but something that gets me in that hmm. zone somehow. Yeah. So maybe like a Banshee or Starliner one day. That would be yeah. Those pretty are pretty sweet. amazing. All right. Uh Kyle, what I about liked, you? I uh, liked the uh the Vera base, of course. I look at it and I go, hmm. That's a base. One <laughs> day, I like it. <laughs> one day I could have something like this. One day. Yeah. One besides day. One, the day. one day. One day, not the one day. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I just look at it and think of ways I can customize or you know. Yeah. It's nice because I've you talked to Kevin. Yeah. I'm like uh, leading Kevin on because I'm probably not going to buy it for a long time. <laughs> but I'm like, oh, I have this idea about a color. And he'll like send me a rendering. I'm like, thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just lead him on. Like, yeah, that's cool. I mean, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to type it out and message. That's, I'm that's not going to buy one. That's a dangerous path to go down. <laughs> it because is. You, next time you run it into a little cash, you'll be like thinking, okay, how yeah, can I yeah, there you go. do this? How fast can I burn this? Ooh, that's right. Kevin's just bored to death. He can build me a base. Yeah. yeah. yeah I've had him like render me like three or four <laughs> colors. I'm like, yeah, I don't like that one. All right. How about this one? Nah. And then he'll be like, I hated that color. I'm not making it. So yeah. I'm not even sending you the render. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Yeah. I know it's like, it's like kind of like, Picking your your favorite ch- your favorite child, but what was some of your favorite things from your own one day? We don't want you to pick your favorite child either. No, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't really play a whole lot of stuff today. I did enjoy playing um, the Iris from uh, JMR, the multi scale one. Yeah, that yeah. thing's kind of kind of wild. Yeah, I don't, you know don't have a lot of chances to play multi-scale stuff and like experience that type of build. Clifton liked that one too, right? That E string. <laughs> yeah, I broke a string at the at the one day show. It's rocking too, too hard. Second, yeah. Calling you out. Sorry. Sorry. Um, sorry. But how many of those have you had? Jesus. It was <laughs> cool. He you know, he made that pickup too. Oh really? really? Yeah. Really? So like he made that guitar. Like the pickup. <laughs> as well as the body and no neck way. and everything. So yeah, I guess uh, like like you were saying too, it's like that mul- like multi scale. It's like it looks intimidating. It looks like you like you can't play it, and it's like oh, it's, it's gonna affect your bends and stuff like that too. But it's like oh, you pick it up, you're like oh, I don't notice it. <laughs> it's more of a visual thing, like like it'll trip you out visually, yeah. Because yeah. like and then you play, it, you're like oh, this this actually works. It doesn't. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you don't think about it and you just play, it's fine. Yeah, it was kind of cool that you had something different like that. Uh, so that that was exciting for me to have that because it was very much a conversation starter and it felt great and it looked good. Yeah, um, but I mean, I got a lot of had a lot of stuff this go around. Yeah, oh, yeah, a bunch of guitars, <laughs> everything yeah. too. Uh, yeah, I like the cower, the gold and white sparkle the cower that was there. I was like, it was that. it was ridiculous and it sounded great too. He has like a name for that one. Like I know it's a super it's chief, supernova. Yeah, supernova. Yeah, I remember um, playing that into like the rock of verb that was there, and uh, I was like, ah, you know, and I know it's like a cleaner style and like a, you know semi hollow and stuff like that with the Bigsby. I'm like, I'm gonna see if I could play like some like like some more like power chord and like punk rock and stuff like that on it. It sounded great. It killed it. It was awesome. Yeah, I think that thing got a lot of play. Yeah, I think everybody just sees that and like they're like, "Whoa, that's a flashy guitar!" And exactly what it is, it's oh, it, it looks, looks so good next to my Titan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it was like the inverse of, yeah, of my Titan. It was the white and gold on your yeah, Titan. I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm surprised I think, how light that Super Chief is, though. 
I think, I think everyone should is. give it to me just so because yeah. they look so good. Yeah, look, they look good. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> don't worry, dude. I'll take your good care of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that and then just trying those lamp electrics out for the first time, actually. The uh, was the shit box. What was the other one called? The one with the MNTP. Yeah. Oh my God. Or the nothing. And then the nothing. The nothing. I need to try that. I didn't get. It was just like, it was just noise. I'm like, I don't know what this thing is. <laughs> I know, doing. like, you barely tweak a knob and it's, you're in a different zone. You're like, where did I cut? Where did I go? Yeah. And then there's the one, yeah, it has like the, uh, you know, bypass and then it has the um, oscillation switch and mm-hmm. then it has the kill switch. So you can just like, you know, I want to go to oscillation right here. <laughs> like, whoa. And then you want to go, kick, 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 with the, I'm like, that's a crazy pedal. So yes. like that one's cool. And then, yeah, I just, I mean, a lot of people just trying out these, the, you know, I saw a lot of people trying out the spruce effects mm-hmm. and there's just a lot, that whole thing. So a lot of people, it's just people just jump into the different boards and stuff like that. So yeah. I thought it was cool. What was on that spruce effects board? You had the gigantium, gigantium, the rainier, the salt water and old growth. And the Gale is his prototype. All right. I thought you weren't supposed to say that. No, you're not supposed to talk <laughs> about his uh, his design. His artwork. His gotcha. Artwork. Oh, okay. Should we address the fact that there's a half-naked dude walking around? <laughs> <laughs> My room? eyes are closed. He does not exist. <laughs> <laughs> Which half? <laughs> That's at, I'm a good boy, Jake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he does not like uh, when people follow him on Instagram. Yeah, go follow at I'm a good boy, Jake. Yeah. <laughs> he is the other half of one day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make it more awkward. <laughs> hey, yeah. It's my brother. Yeah. No. <laughs> Actually, probably my favorite part was that one dude just rocking the bass for like an hour. Yeah, <laughs> he was a <singing laughs> young too. kid. Yeah, he oh, was singing, dude. Singing dude. Old dude yeah. yeah, or not? Oh, and then there Playing was the blues. And skills. there was there was the kid who just like just who played Rush. Yep. Yeah, I remember like that every Rush too. song you ever know, or one you didn't, you didn't even know and, existed. And he played Black Sabbath. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, it was like yeah, the dude just sitting down playing the bass. He was there for. At least, it, like, I want to say, close. Yeah, who pulled a, a chair up for him? Uh, the guy he pulled his own chair. Maybe okay, he pulled yeah, himself <laughs> comfortable. Like, I, uh, I mean, I played some hot licks with him. For, yeah, like, yeah, I saw that. Twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah. and you're like, and then you're like, I'm tired. Hot licks, <laughs> and he's just keeps, he just kept going. I mean, he wasn't bad. But no. I was like, and they started singing too, like randomly. I'm like, this guy's into it. What's yeah. not? It's not normal. Like even like going to a music store like to see a guy who's playing the bass like start singing with the bass doing his own songs by himself on the bass (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah he was he was loving that the (laughs) equids i wish wish he loved it enough to buy it (laughs) yeah that that kid that was playing it next you know i was helping him plug it in and get set up and he he's like i feel like the strap's too long i'm like oh okay i can you know raise that up for you and He's like, uh, normally I play sitting down. I'm like, oh, I can get you a chair. He's like, I just, I just started playing bass. I haven't been playing that long. I just, I don't know what's comfortable for me. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And then he starts playing Rush. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like you're just like ripping it on the bass. But yeah, no, that 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 kid was just like, he seemed like either really stoned or really drunk or both. And he was just like, because he was just staring off and just playing bass lines forever. <laughs> I'm like, okay, this. This guy is just, he's in his own world. Yeah. And then like Kyle had to be like kind of hurry him out. I'm like, okay, so. <laughs> I just started boring him to death with like. Kind like, of another. Yeah. Yeah. He just didn't, he didn't want to hear what I had to say and I could I could see it in his eyes. So I just kept talking. Because you kept talking to him about like the specs and I'm like, oh yeah, he yeah. quits. His, you know, uh, he's yeah. out of LA. He's at, he does this. He handmades these. Yeah, and all this the the finish on this. And, <laughs> and then the kid's like, what kind of pickups are these? I'm I like, got to oh, go. Let's talk about <laughs> <laughs> and the kid's like, you, "Dude, you're blown. You're blown off the spot. I gotta go." And then when I said, <laughs> "Okay," I like, I when I finished talking, I said, "Okay." He like realized, "Oh, all right, I'll give this to someone else." I'm like, "You will, yes." Yeah, you. And my you were, Jedi mind trick. You yeah. were charged with speeding him up. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I need to hurry you along. <laughs> well, there was a guy who came in, and he probably like five times. Oh, and, yeah. And probably yeah. spent like 20 minutes each time. Like, and I mean, he was a great player. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it was kind of like the same. Like, thing is, like, uh, I don't know. 
you you kind of well there, there's a balance because having somebody playing gets people's attention yeah yeah, so yeah. The people that are out in the lobby and don't know what's going on they're like oh there's mu- there's music happening where's that coming from um but then you know if they get there and it hurts their ears to walk in the door that's a bad thing so. yeah yeah which is probably not something like that you normally have like happen um at a one day where like you're trying to draw people in that right. you don't expect are going to be there yeah it's uh there's only been a couple of times where there's been somebody that's like okay it's just turned down a little bit but in general i like I like people to just play with the stuff. Yeah. This was yeah, a little absolutely. bit different because there was other things going on too. Yeah. So I, I didn't know what was appropriate. So yeah, no, I guess, uh, do you normally have that many stations set up where it was like five? Yep. Five. Okay. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Uh, to direct it to you, Co. how is like this experience like different that you had like tacked on to another event, like with your one day, how, how was that for you as yeah, opposed to just like a, like your own standalone thing. A ton of like, foot traffic. Yeah. Which was spectacular. Um, I don't think that the, a lot of people realize that these items were for sale, but that's okay. Got a lot of people in there. Got a lot of people experiencing guitars they wouldn't normally experience. Yeah. Um, I liked it. I feel like it could have been marketed, marketed and branded better. Um, because even like I ran my own Facebook ads while yeah. it was going on and, uh, it was really hard to come up with copy for it. Oh, like, yeah. what am I, I'm like, am I advertising my event, which is part of their event, but their event is an art show, a musical, like silent auction and a concert. I'm like, I don't know what I'm advertising. Yeah, yeah. So it was a little convoluted and I think we could have done better. And I talked to the guy, one of the guys there about how we could make that better. Cause he's already saying he wants me to come back and do it again next year. So he right. scaled down a little bit, maybe <laughs> you're me like, scale down. You're, you're, you're be like, okay, wait, wait, no, you can only scale up from here. Yeah. You right. don't go, you don't yeah, scale I guess. back. <laughs> Fill it up with 30 guitars. Now. That's right. There you go. Yeah, We're going to bring right. another van. <laughs> <laughs> you guys in? Everybody in? All yeah, right. There you go. Yeah, and I'll, I'll brush up on my, you know, stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, that's a, that's, that, that's a guitar. It's six strings. Just Kyle did a great job keeping people from stealing stuff. So. Yeah. Like nobody stole anything. Yep. You just that we know roll your that glasses know down like this. <laughs> yeah. Look at them real just look at it. Like, like the librarian. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> 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 Tell the guy who did just you kept... say a naughty librarian? I did say naughty <laughs> librarian. Like a naughty... <laughs> but you're looking at him like... <laughs> and they're like, look at you like, oh, I don't know what's going on with this guy. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel right now. <laughs> uh. um, but, no, yeah. it, was, it was good. And like having you guys all there was really weird. That's like, a good okay. thing, right? <laughs> yeah, like uh, it's just like I'm u- I'm used to like bouncing because, like we said, people all come at once. Yeah. yeah, it's not like you have a person and that person leaves and another person comes in and I can focus all my attention on every person. Normally, it's a lot of bouncing around, but every time I looked around, like who should I go talk to right now? For the most part, you guys were already like talking to somebody. Yeah, and it was cool to like make the connection with like people you know who are interacting with the gear that i like personally already use or have or own and stuff like that and so i mean just for example like the chronograph i'm like just like people are like i don't what what is this thing who makes that uh ds good car <laughs> a few of those <laughs> bad boys out <laughs> ds guitar engineering and the chronograph i like i use that and i love them. i fucking love the shit out of that and i'm like and they like what it's a clock i'm like it's so important so just telling them about it and i'm like it's like 50 bucks but it's like this is what it does i'm like it, it keeps you from looking like a chump pulling your phone out in the middle of the stage i'm like i got 10 minutes left okay i'll put my phone back <laughs> i'm like yeah you just see the time i'm like okay we know that we ended at 11 it's on yeah. there because you're already probably looking at you know to tune or change pedals i'm like oh just look i'm like oh it says you know i got 10 minutes left 
And then people were like, "Wow, that's a great idea." I'm like, mind yeah. blown. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I didn't realize like like I had talked with him before and I've seen like pictures of it, but I didn't realize how like how small that was. It was like yeah. really ridiculously small. Yeah, it's oh god, it's perfect. Like yeah. I, I it's hard to play a show without gush, that gush, thing. Gush. <laughs> like without I love it. Yeah. Without that thing. You guys should buy it. If you guys don't buy it, you're dumb. I have one. You're dumb, bros. <laughs> but I guess it's you know, we can wrap it up and see we see about doing another Just a little bit on top about something else. Hot take what you have a topic? No. <laughs> you have a question? No. <laughs> you just wanted to, it's open floor right you now. You just wanted to drag this out. We could Jake, just, you have anything to say? Jake's yeah. dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so tomorrow we're gonna go to the open house at Jonathan Fellows. Yeah. Yep. Is that? Yeah. It's in the morning at ten. Nice. We'll get some get some sleep. We'll be well, well rested. Yes. There you go. Yes. So uh thanks. We'll see how this I edit this and we'll see what happens. And if anybody, if it ever sees the light of day, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you next time. All right.